In this brief tutorial, we're gonna go through how to register for a YouTube account, how to get it verified, and then how to make your first simple live stream. We're just gonna use the camera and the microphone that is on your laptop. And this is a, a basic level introduction, but it would still be a great benefit to your church, your community, or your youth group. So first of all, you probably just want to head to youtube.com and we've got the home screen uh, right here in front of us. Go ahead and sign in. If you've got a Gmail account, then go ahead and log in. If you haven't, then it'll just ask you to create a new account. We're going to just log in with our Gmail account. Put the email address there, enter in your password. And now what it's effectively done is logged me in as that user. What I can now do is go to YouTube Studio. Um, now it's asking me to create a channel. So I just sort of call it whatever I want to. I would suggest your, your church's name or your youth group, but uh, I'm just gonna leave it as Dan Rackham. Create that channel. And it sort of takes you through, through various things that would be useful to read. And then this is your channel dashboard. And from here, you're able to create and upload um, and uh, do all of the behind the scenes administration of your church's YouTube channel. But for what we're gonna do today, just go ahead and click on this create button up in the top right hand corner. And you've got two choices. You could upload a video that you've created um, at home or um, and you're ready to upload, or you can go live. We're gonna choose the go live option. Okay, so the first thing that it says is that our account hasn't been verified. So let's go through the verification process. We're in the United Kingdom. Um, it says, text me the verification code. Which language should, should you use English? What is your phone number? So I enter in my phone number. And then it will text me through to my phone, just a verification code. And just simply, when that comes through to your phone, just enter it into that field. Ah, it's now come through. Lovely. Okay. So, 99. Whoop. Great, congratulations. Your YouTube account is now verified. Sounds very exciting, doesn't it? Okay, so what you'll then get is just a, a pause for 24 hours and it will say, um, basically, come back in 24 hours time, then you'll be able to stream. So, um, we'll do just that. We'll come back in 24 hours time. What you're gonna do is go to, the, go to this button in the top right hand corner and just click on go live. That's how you are able to live stream. And then it gives you some options here that help you to just title and uh, set a few of the settings for your live stream. So maybe we're gonna write Sunday worship um, and the name of your church, which mine is Holy Trinity Eastbourne. There we go. And you could set your video as public or as unlisted. The benefit of public is that anybody who is um, surfing around could find your video, could find your live stream and join it. Um, you, you could also find it from the YouTube channel very easily. The benefit of unlisted is that only the people with a specific URL are able to watch your video, uh, watch your live stream. So you can choose which one to go for. I'd recommend public because then there's a chance that other people in your local area or other people around the world could stumble across your service. But for the purpose of just this, um, just this example, I'm going to select unlisted. Then you can schedule it for later. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to schedule it for Sunday and 10.30. And then here you can set whether the audience is for kids or for not or not for kids and press next. And then you have the option of having a thumbnail, so just smile. 
uh, that will take a thumbnail um, that will create a thumbnail and there you go you've got all the details you could have changed the category if you wanted to and when it's scheduled for now to share that with your congregation just click on the share button and here you have a URL which you can copy and then put that in the body of an email out to your church congregation or share on your Facebook page or, or whatever and you have the possibility of going live so if I just show you how that works if I press go live now it will use my laptop camera and my laptop microphone and I'll be able to present to um, present in the live stream up here it'll show how many people are watching and listening in and here shows the duration of time that you have been live for and people can join you down here people are able to add their comments so they might uh, uh, say you know I oh, didn't quite understand that thought um, could you sort of reiterate that again could you explain that and really helpful tips from this point is just to think what have you got behind you you don't want uh, your scenery behind to be too cluttered or messy you just don't want anything to be a distraction to people you also want to be fairly close to the microphone but not too close you don't want to be so close to the camera that it just frankly looks pretty horrible um, but equally you don't want to be too far back because the microphone quality will be much worse and try and find a situation where you're well lit maybe because there's some nice light coming in through a, a close uh, a window that's close to you or maybe you've got a couple of other lights that you could just shine on your on your face and that's really it um, it's really helpful when you're filming um, in a live stream setting like this don't be tempted to look at yourself and watch yourself because if you do then um, people will notice that you're not actually looking at the camera the camera is usually up here so just find where it is on your particular laptop and look at that camera if it helps you could sort of put uh, a little bit of tape around it don't cover over it but just tape around it just to help you to focus on that camera and then just talk 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 through your bible study talk through um, your sermon or your or your your kids session and that's 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 all that's that's it when um, you finished you just press end stream are you sure you want to end the stream yep end and the wonderful thing is that it will then have created a video that is the length of the time that you've been speaking and you'll be able to share that video later so people who didn't log on at 10 30 um, who missed the service they can still um, catch up afterwards and you can say edit in studio and here you're able to just add a little bit more of a description there's the link and if you copy that link you'll be able to watch the video that you just created and you could share that as well so just as a quick sum up we've gone through how to register for a YouTube account how to get it verified and then how to take your first steps live streaming and scheduling a live stream for a Sunday morning service so give it a go try making a live cast sending the link out to loads of friends and to your church and whatever you produce even if it's not BBC quality, it'll still be a great blessing to many who are watching.